bring back those memories because right now uh, we're going to go into this uh, Sinji and uh, Mike Kirby. Yeah, and so Meta Knight is a very... Eh. He's kind of a different character than he was in Smash 4. He feels sort of like a hybrid between Brawl uh, Meta Knight and Smash 4 Meta Knight. Yeah. He still has some of those crazy ladder combos. Uh, I believe they are character specific. They'll get a lot less character specific once people really lab it out. Yeah. Um, oh, and okay. Just so you know, that is another um, thing that has changed in Ultimate. That, that the trampoline in Smash 4 used to be unblockable. Because if you got hit by the trampoline while you were in your shield, you'd come out of shield and automatically get hit by that. So that's a change that they made in this game, so that won't that you won't get automatically pushed out of your shield. Really? So, oh, yeah. that's actually really hurts for Pac-Man's overall trap game. I know that there's a lot of other stuff that Sinji's been looking forward to. Apparently, the water will bounce back his projectiles, which makes re-grabbing them a lot easier. But also, I believe that uh, the Z-drop cannot like re-grab it multiple times. Yeah. But on the other hand, the benefit is Bell now stuns on Z-drop, which is really scary. Yeah, it, it feels it's a lot of trade-offs, um, but like, yeah, so, but right now, Mike is like really, really, ooh, I'm saying Mike was really kind of in control of that game until. Yeah, that bell is looking like it maybe is, its power has just been increased from uh, Smash 4. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Um, I don't know if it's increased, but like the, the utility. The utility, yeah, no, the utility is definitely increased. Oh, and I don't know if you saw that. Mike Kirby actually um, air dodged to the ground at a trampoline, so it kind of just reduced how how high he went into the sky. And that's like you know that's a pretty good tech that you know probably be useful. Oh, he's, oh, he saves him. That should have been it. I believe Pac-Man still has that glaring weakness in his. Oh, Ooh, and he he went all the way up from that down air. Oh my God, that down air is so strong. Doesn't that remind you of Brawl down air? Doesn't that remind you of the good old days? But Meta Knight Downer used to just obliterate people off the side of the stage. Yeah, I know that <laughs> Sinji, uh, he's been, he's back in school now, uh, and he hasn't been able to practice the game as much as he would like. Uh, but nonetheless, he's still showing that he is a absolute powerhouse with this character. His fundamentals, the way that he understands the game is so different and unique, and he's showing that us in an entirely new engine, and so far doing pretty well, playing it patient. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, and right now, because um, Mike Kirby doesn't want to take any more trades, so he's, he's trying to wait for Sinji to make a mistake or make a slip-up so he can try to get in, get a, one of those burst options, like a dash tech, maybe a dash grab, something like this to get him off stage. And, one of, and another thing I was interested in seeing is, like, how would Sinji land in this game? Because he was very air dodge heavy coming to the ground in Smash 4. Well, so the thing is, actually, the Hydrant can help him a lot with air dodging. So he can now air dodge into his Hydrant. I believe he can actually air dodge cancel uh, off of his Hydrant. Oh, that's, that's neat. I, I believe so. This is what he told me, at least. I think this might have been in beta, like in the one, you know, the demo. Okay. Uh, it might not be true anymore. Ooh, ooh, oh, my God. Yeah, you can be back air dodge, right? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, Mennonite can still destroy um, by Hydrant with uh, one Smash Attack, so it seems like it still has the same HP. Well, that Smash Attack does so much damage. I think overall, Smash Attacks in general had their damage buffed. A lot of moves had their damage buffed. Yeah. Oh, and, the, and it's an actual grab this time, so it's not terrible. So, it probably. <gasps> you still can't Smash... shield grab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in Smash 4, uh, you, pr you probably would have got killed for that. Like, definitely. Oh, yeah, especially considering what Smash 4 Mennonite was yeah. like. Yeah, the end lag, like, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, he hit the Hydrant just a little bit, just see what Sinji would do. Now, question. Oh, back air is a lot stronger now. Yeah, that would never would have happened. No, no, another one of those various, you know, quality of life buffs, I guess you would say. Because um, back air in Smash 4 is a little lackluster. Probably didn't deserve his back air to be like that, so. I believe his downer, does his downer have any utility now, or is it still comically bad? I don't know. But. Well, we'll get to see, you know. Uh, Sinji, it feels like there is a little bit Ooh. of... In, like uh, it, it's like extemporaneous the way he's playing, mm -hmm. where he's still kind of trying to figure things out. You know, he has been playing the game as much as he'd like, and it seems like he's trying out some new things in the heat of the moment. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's on the fly stuff. You know, just as a person who's played this game for so long, you, you could you could adapt to those type of things in the middle of the game. But right now, um, Cindy's running away from this. Like it just seems like uh, Mike is just trying to find a way in. He doesn't really know how to get in all his arrows without making a trade. But sometimes, you know, in that situation. Did he just shield grab? Oh yeah, no, he definitely shield grab. What a world. He, like, he needs to make a play, and right now, uh, he, you know, he knows that. You know, so you mentioned before how that uh, air dodging off of the trampoline can be really useful, and, like, if uh, the opponent gets a uh, jump off of it. But if it's one of those things where it can translate to a habit, and air dodge has lag in this game, yeah. since you can definitely punish one of those things. No, 100%. No way! What a world! So, yeah. Pac-Man shield grabs.
back throw won the game. So the thing about Pac-Man's back throw in Smash 4, it wasn't that it was weak. It was just that how would you actually grab somebody at the ledge to back throw them? <laughs> I mean, that, that was the whole task behind it because it wasn't a bad back throw. It really wasn't. Like, it was pretty decently strong, but it's like how would you make somebody get grabbed by a Pac-Man grab in the corner? Yeah. If you did, you're bad. Sorry to say. Well, Mike Kirby is a good player, and he still fell into it. Oh no! Do you think he's be gonna, better? Grab better. Do you grab. think he's gonna change character? I don't know. I think uh, I think he did Kirby Pac-Man a lot of times in Smash Four. It didn't work out for him, so maybe he's just trying to turn over a new leaf. This is I, pretty much the first Ultimate Zeno. He does have time. This is only the first weekly he's gonna see Sinji and see some of these matchups. So you know he has time to adapt. So you don't no need to haphazardly go between characters. You just work on the meta night. I really want to see Pac-Man uh, fruit on a Kirby, though. I actually don't. So, like, what do you mean? It's adorable. He I, has the little nose. And he, I, I want to get on stream eventually. <laughs> so, that's, that's the thing. But no, here's the thing, though. If it goes really long, they have to do winner. They have to stream winners round oh, okay. two <laughs> before they. Uh -huh. They have to stream winners round two before winners round three. So, if this match takes forever, y your match will be next on stream. Yes. Um, but okay, and we're going Yoshi's Island, and um, yeah, I mean, maybe it's cold outside. Yeah, and and I can I can see this pick from Mike Kirby, Mike Kirby standpoint. He, there's like a big platform that could kind of be an expressway to get over some of these projectiles that Pac-Man's throwing at him, just so he could get at least a little bit closer to Pac-Man, especially in a matchup like this where Kirby doesn't have the best burst burst range, burst options. I will say one thing about Mike Kirby's Kirby is he's such a strong, like he has such good fundamentals. And of course his Meta Knight is very solid, but you really see how much he understands the game and what his opponent wants to do when he has, when he's piloting that Kirby. Yeah. And like, I, and you know, just to talk about those fundamentals, like I really like what he did there. Like he looked like he was trying to bait Sinji with an option and he actually aired uh, pseudo wave dash back to try to punish that with a forward smash. And that wave land, you see that wave land? Okay, he's trying to uh, go down to edge guard. Like edge guarding is going to be huge in this game, but people haven't quite figured out exactly how to do it yet. So there's a little bit of a uh, risky. In some ways, it's overcommitments mm -hmm. going off stage, and they're like, "I hope this aerial will aerial will kill them." Ooh. And did you? And did you? Speaking of you know, speaking of aerials, uh, did you see how Mike just like air dodged through that hydrant to get closer to Pac-Man? <laughs> I mean, this is. He knows this matchup. It might be a different game. It might yeah. be a different engine, but he still knows. Yeah, it's Sinji. It's Pac-Man. He's Kirby. This is a this is a constant in the universe. Yeah, and he did, you know he did something that's you know um, kind of exclusive to this engine. He did run up forward smash, something that you could not do in Smash Four unless you you know did like the pivot uh, A B thing with the smash stack, but like that. But very specific. Mm. And even then, it was like very specific the point at which you could release the F smash. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it, it, Kirby in general, Ooh. see, Mike was so good at walking in the old games, both in Brawl and Smash 4, and I'm, oh, where are you going, bud? No, no, he has no, oh, no. We saw him. He saved him. Oh, oh he protected. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he tried to, uh, actually, he tried to, uh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what he, that's exactly what he tried to do. That's, and that's what happens in Melee when you try to leg dash, you die if you're messing up. Uh, uh, Kirby forward are killing at 100. I know he was off stage, but Devin's giving a nod of the head. Yeah. A yeah. lot of Kirby stuff, uh, his aerials got stronger. The forward air got stronger. Uh, his oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, awesome. You could do that now. Yeah, you could do that. He can inhale e e everything. <laughs> it's great. Except can he inhale a moving hydrant? Like one that's well, been knocked up. Probably. I would guess. I want to see that happen. Only thing I know he can hi uh, inhale is uh, Inkling Bomb, but that's not relevant to this match. <laughs> Yeah, and um, now speaking of which, right now um, Mike is putting a lot of pressure on Sinji right now. Sinji is, isn't, you know, he's not doing a lot of the traps that you normally see him do. Mike Kirby is actually in this space right now. And one of the things that they changed about Pac-Man, when he throws his item and picks it back up, he can actually keep shuffling through items now. Ooh, really? Yeah, yeah, when he, when he, when he, he could throw another ground, pick it back up, and shuffle back through the items again. So, you know, he could, you know, switch it up oh. a little bit. All of this damage right out of the gate. <gasps> Okay. Okay. So still no throw combos. Yeah, still no throw combos. Hey, faster throw though. Yeah. So in return to the get off me option, which is up B out of shield, which got um taken away, they gave him a faster grab. So I mean, you know, trade offs. Ooh, fifty two percent. 
Yeah, getting a little bit too uh, tunnel vision with taking care of that Hydra and yeah. cost him. And damage matters a lot. I mean, we're not going to see a timeout. There's three minutes and 20 seconds, and I don't think these guys are comfortable enough to be able to time out for that long. Yeah, and, and I'm wondering right now, um, when we saw Mike Kirby and Hell it the first time, those two times he tried to break the Hydra, why not see it again? Because he got punished for both times trying to break the Hydra. So I, I wonder if he tries trying to retaliate. Yeah. Same oh. concept, I think, where you notice that Sinji will throw down this Hydra, but he always has a fruit ready. Yeah. Uh, and it's the lag on your normals. In a way, like, maybe, like, these down tilts, these jabs are actually trying to bait Sinji. <gasps> oh, he heals, too. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. No, well, he threw the fruit at him, yeah. I know. But, like, I don't think that make him heal me old in Ooh. Smash 4. Yeah, Apple saw is a lot of knockback, but you can still DI that properly and not die. Ooh, oh my! If you know, if he S smashed in the correct direction, Sinji might have been dead. Yeah, no, Sinji has to be scared. He's <laughs> this is an old familiar fear to him. The opponent at 140 <laughs> percent, he might be low, but wow. and there it is on a beautiful key coming back from disadvantage, and he's going to take that 2-0. Oh, really? The counter pick was really working out for Mike Kirby there, but. Not enough to actually seal out a game, let alone a set win. Sinji is staying in the winner's bracket, where I believe he has yeah. to face off against winner yeah. of... Hey, guys. Well, I'll um, see you guys on stream. Um, Thanks, commentating, bro. See you on stream. He has to face off against Rishi. I'm going. That's going to be on stream. Fun.